Hello guys, welcome to Redneck Ways. Hope everybody's doing good today um, on this Thursday. Um, I think it's the 20th, April the 20th. Um, I usually do videos on Tuesday, but um, I was wanting to work on this model a little bit more today, this, this evening. And um, <clears throat> some of the things I'm getting ready to do, I uh, don't want you guys to miss. So, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do a video. I mean, there's no crime in that, is there? But anyway, guys, um, the, um, this is part six. Um, if you guys have been keeping up, um, we're building a lifeboat, um, a Seabright Dory. Um, They was built. They came out of. Uh, they was built in New Jersey, and used in New Jersey on the coast. And uh, they they was used for fishing boats and there a little bit of everything. So we've been working on it. Now, last video, um, I was having a little bit of problems. One with this uh, this here uh, fake stern. So um, what I have what I did was I let that piece of wood just soak in um, water and uh, Windex. And it it bend real easy that way. I got a good uh, bend in it. And it bent pretty good. So, and what I did, I just uh, I put a, cl uh, a clamp and then I put a rubber band down here to hold it that way. And that way it set overnight. And it should... I haven't took it off yet, but it should keep the form. So let's check it out. Let's see if it did. Oh yeah, that's the way to do it. I was trying to uh, just put it on last time, and that just was not going to work. But yeah, that that did perfect, guys. Perfect bend. So. That fits perfect. I was a little concerned about that and how I was going to get that to look right and not break on me. So we'll set that aside for right now. Um, here's a little place back here. I've got to trim. I got to trim that off. So we'll do that right now. I hope everybody has made it through their work week. <clears throat> My work week has just about killed me. We've been super busy with spring been here. Everybody's getting their plants and all that and needing fertilizer. And then my landscaping business. This year I'm running I'm running real small. Um, only a couple yards because I just can't can't do five or six this year and take care of that job down there <clears throat> but uh, just on just on one job on the landscaping I took out three um, big old big old like you might as well call them trees but there's big bushes what they were and uh, I did that yesterday and I don't like I don't like <laughs> cutting that stuff up. I'm scratched. My arms are all scratched up and stuff. And <clears throat> the branches and everything. But uh, I got it done and got got it. the hardest part's really getting it hauled off. But uh, there's a little spot that I know that it used to be an old hatch, old fish hatchery. And um, they let you down as long as you throw it down over the hillside and you just don't throw it in the road. They don't say anything for you throwing br brush, brush only, not litter. Just, you know. So I took it out there and got rid of it. Actually, tomorrow after work, I've got one more small load to pick up. I couldn't get it all on the trailer. But yeah, I've. I've been hard at it. And 
that's why I was wanting to work on this model and talk to you guys, have a little rest, and relaxation. This is uh, my weekend off. I don't know what I'm gonna get into. I got two yards to get cut, but I should have them done within three or four hours. So my lights flicker. The batteries must be getting weak. All right, guys. I've got that little little place cut off. And now what I'm going to attempt to do, guys, is I'm going to try to um, take my hobby knot and get this this right here, get this uh, form out. I've got to try to get both of them out, but we'll try this one first. If I can find my hobby knot, there it is. In my last video, <clears throat> I explained why I was having to, to whittle this out. One good thing about this basswood is easy to uh, whittle on. So we'll see how long it takes. I don't think it's going to take very long because it's going right through it. I'm just taking it. My cat. Just whittling it down. Kind of fun actually. So I'm going to do that, guys. And I'm not going to bore you with that. So I'll, I'll go ahead and pause it. And I'm going to get these whittled out. And when we get when I get back to you. We're going to. Um, get some get some measurements. And get our. Um, our bread. I think it. Let me find out what that's called. Because I keep wanting to call it the wrong thing. I keep wanting to call it a. A brass plate. But it's not. It's. It's a breast hook. We'll get the breast hook put on and the knee. We'll get the quarter knees on. I like to get those on and get them uh, on their way to be uh, glued in and dried. So let me uh, get that whittled out, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. I got it all. I got it all out. All, I got both the forms off there. It didn't take that long at all. I'll just have to sand those. So, that's what we'll do. We'll go over a little bit inside here of sandpaper. But I, I got to be careful because I can't sand my lines. I'm just going to kind of hit a little bit inside here. Right here where we're going to put those um, the knees, the quarter knees, get that good sanded. I think looking pretty good. They have to look like a boat now. Um, 
actually guys let's try and see what that wood feel how it's going to work we're going to fill this in right here where i made a boo-boo so let's see what that stuff does i hope it works it's pink i thought it said natural how Does, I guess maybe it draws natural. I don't know. Look at that, guys. It's pink. Let me make us a scraper. We'll give her a try. We'll let this dry and we'll see what color it changes because pink is not natural color for wood, is it? Of course, I am painting the boat. Like icing a cake. Try to get all the excess off. That we don't need. I need a little sponge. There's what it looks like, guys. Um, let me pause this for a minute, guys. Let me go get a wet sponge. Alrighty, I'm back. Couldn't find my sponge. I have to use my soldering station sponge that I had out there for you. Wipe the excess off, which probably can just sand it seems like it dries pretty fast that took care of that mistake though I think that looked pretty good sealed it right up I may have to put when it dries put one more coat in some of the worst places um, back here needs some Lost my, lost my good, the one that I had a bevel on. Huh. Nah, it don't matter, I guess. Back in here, need some. Anywhere, lots coming through. Right here. There's always one way to skin a cat. Always more than one way. Let's 
looks good. I'm just going to fill that. They say put a little piece of wood there. I'm just going to fill it in. This. There we go. Blob on there. That filled in perfect. Rinse off my sponge. Here's a crack. Like I said in the last video, she was plumb full of holes. She would have definitely sunk. I hear some more spill them in. here spot when I did flooring I used to love the grout work it's just something about seeing how pretty it comes out when you it could be looking all nasty and messy and you take that wet sponge wipe that grout it turns so pretty That's probably enough on this video. I'll probably finish the that part filling all this in guys off camera. But it's gonna work good. Get this little spot here I missed. Back right here. I've got a lot to do on the bottom too. A lot of filling in. I'm going to have to find something better to put it in. Though this little piece of wood's not not doing the best.
sponge out one more time. It's right on me there. Pretty snazzy. Still got a lot to do here. I know we're on this side. But it's definitely going to work. So, got a little bit here on the inside. Gotta make sure I get that out. I won't be able to sand it. Try for that corner where it's hard to get. Alright. Alright. Let's do a couple more things before I end the video. Put the lid back on. The pink stuff. Sure, I'm good top. Okay, guys, so let's put the knees in. Here's the um, the breast hook, and I still got some work to do on that front piece before I get that that fitted in there. I'm gonna have to do some sanding. That's what that's going to look like. But I'm going to definitely have to take some off of this here. That top plank. But I'm not going to glue that in just yet. Cause I got I got a lot, of, not a lot of work to do up front, but I got some. And it, if I glue that, I'll be hurting. But um, I believe we can get the knees in. Quarter knees. See some of this feeling that came through the other side. And get it patted down. Wiped out. Alright, let's get the one of the quarter knees out. Put them over here because I'll lose. It'll get mixed up with all these scrap pieces. Alrighty. So it's saying they go right here on the top. Just like that. So I'm going to put them in place and glue them together. Boy, I got a mess. Let's sand these little areas here before I glue it. I brought home another. I did. Maybe too big though. sand it if I glue it both sides a little bit of glue there
that step is dry and natural. See? It's not pink anymore. I gotta be careful back here. That's that split on me already once. Lots of sand in it. I remember in shop class, I hated the sand, and we had a shop teacher, and she wouldn't let you go to the next stage until it was perfect. You had to take your file and sandpaper, it had to be smooth as a baby's tush. Oh, it was ready to stain, like sand, it. and I'm ready, I'm ready to stain, nope. I had probably usually two or three more weeks of sand in the do. A lot of sand in that class. She was a good shop teacher though. Miss Salmons was her name. She smoked little cigars. those put in because I can take forever. Alright. Get my glue. Q-tip. Which I have one in here somewhere. That's gonna look good. All right. one guys I don't know if you can see it there that clamp on or not there's one the quarter knees
Quran. It's going to be a little tricky. Alright. Not going to be perfect there where that plank was down. A little bit more than the other side. But it's going to be alright. That's where it needs to be. Right there, I need a little bit more glue on it though. Clamps make me want to row up. They've got to be clamped. Hmm. Come on now. Cooperate. I may just have to let it dry. It seems like it's uh, going to dry by itself anyway. And there's the other guys. I can't really put a clamp on that one. Because it's wanting a row. When I put pinch it, it wants to row full up this way. So I think it'll dry like it like that by itself. So we have that. So now, guys, I guess I'm gonna go ahead. And we'll glue the stern on. That'd be the last thing we do this this evening. Just make sure it still stays in shape. Stay in shape, so I'll put some glue on it. I got it stuck a little bit up here, a little bit farther, because I'm going to have to make the the um, the stern. I'm going to have to pick a little, cut off a little there, and put here to make it look right, because this is supposed to be connect to that. And if I did that, I would have to cut all the way down, and it would mess mess it up and I don't want to mess this for any end up I'd rather just put a little piece of wood there cause uh, from 10 feet away you're not going to notice cause I could get in here and start cutting and mess that line up and I, I just don't want to take that risk so I'm going to put some glue on this sand it a little bit Right 
do that. I'll get my rubber band back on. in the rubber band first. We'll line it up just like that. Just like so. And we'll put a clamp on it. Well, i got to take that hook off. Make sure it's straight. so much better this time in this video and there it is guys there's that let me see if I can push it up a little bit up here I gotta cut it off anyway yeah that's where I want it. and there's the stern the false stern, they call it. I know it's hard to see with that clamp on there. But when it dries, I've got to cut it at a bevel down here at the bottom to match the bottom of the boat. So all this will come off. I've just got it there right now to support this. Alrighty, guys. I think that'll about do it in today's video. Like I said, um, I know it's a little early, but I was wanting to do a little work on it, and I didn't want y'all to miss anything. So, I wanted to wanted y'all to see. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. And guys, you all have a great weekend. Um, I may or I may not make a video this weekend. I don't know. If I, something cool comes up, I sure will. That's for sure. So, alright guys, I'll see y'all next time right here on Redneck Ways. Bye guys.